chapter 5 test. So this is just some review of the things we've covered, covered in this chapter here. So here's some examples. So to describe a pattern in the table and then complete the table. Okay, so over here, look, it looks like we have the tens going up by ones right here. One, two, three, four, five. And the ones, it goes from 10 to 20 to 30. So it looks like we're adding 10 uh, on the ones all the time. So as we look across the rows, the number of ones increase by 10 for each 10. Okay, so these, these ones are going up by 10. So what we're going to do is just keep adding 10. Okay, so for every 10, add 10 ones to that. So let's go ahead and add. So we're going to add 10, 30 plus 10 is 40, and then 40 plus 10 is going to get us 50 right there, okay? So I think that's what we're looking for on that kind of question right there. Let's do this one. So on same thing, you guys, we look across, 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. So it looks like uh, as we look across the rows, the number of pencils, the pencils increase by 8 uh, as the boxes increase by 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and do plus 8. Well, plus 8, 24 plus 8. Let's see. Uh, so for every box, we're going to go ahead and add 8 right there. So let's go ahead and do 24 plus 8. So I'm using my fingers, you guys. 24, and then we're going to go 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, so this will be 32, and 32 plus 8 is 40. 40 plus 8 is going to get us... Um, uh, 48 okay so that's what they're looking for on that all right so find the unknown factor P number one P times 8 equals uh, 24 so I'm going to set up an array when we first did this we did arrays you guys so we did I did dots uh, so so how many rows times how many columns equals 24 so this this is saying how many how many um, uh, how many rows of 8 are going to get us 24 right there, basically? So how many rows of, of 8 will get us 24? So here's 8 right here. Let's, let's go ahead and finish this row right here. So if we finish that row, 8 plus 8 gets us 16. So two rows of 8 gets us 16. 2 times 8 equals 16. So uh, three rows of 8 will get us to uh, 24 right there. Okay, so how many rows? So it's going to take us three rows. So that means P equals 3 in this case. All right, how about this? 5 times E equals 35. Okay, so this will say uh, how many columns of 5 rows will get us 35, something like that, okay? So how many columns of 5 will make uh, 35? So here's one row of 5, so I'm just going to keep going. So 5 and 5s are easy to count by, so I'm going to do another row and do 10. So there's two rows, so 3 rows is 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, okay, there's 35, so there's how many rows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 rows, so 5 times 7 equals 35 right there, okay? All right, all right, so um, uh, how about this one? 6 times 40, okay, on this one, you guys, I'm gonna, we're going to do, we did this in one of our lessons. We made, um, uh, we called it the distributive property. So 6 times 40 is the same as 6 times 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, okay? Because 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 40 right there. So let's go ahead and do this uh, rectangle, 6 times 10. 6 times 10 is 60, so I'll shade that in. Okay, and then we'll do uh, this 6 right here, this 6 by 10. So this is going to be 60 right here, okay? And similarly, this one's going to be 60, and then that one's going to be 60. So what we're going to do is just add all those 60s up right there. So 6 times 40 is going to be the same as 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60. Okay, so when we add all those up, we get 240 right there, okay? Now, what I like to do, you guys, is, is um, uh, multiply 6 times 4 is 24 and then carry the 0. See, here's 24 with a 0 right there, okay? So if you know what 6 times 4 is, then just add the 0. So let's do that with this trick, 8 times 70, all right? 8 times 70, um, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to do the stick straight lines for this one first, then we'll do that shortcut right there. So, let, well, let's do that right now. Let's talk about that. 8 times 7 is 56, so this is going to be 560. But here, let's draw straight lines uh, to represent 10s, and then we'll make a box that will represent 100, okay? So here's one uh, row of, of uh, 7 tens. so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. You remember doing that in one of our lessons right there? So there's one row. So if we do another row, there's two rows. We've got to do it eight of them. So here's three, four, five, 
6, 7, and finally 8. So if we add it up, so how many, how many 70s are there? If we added up all those 70s, there would be 560 of them right there, okay? So these add up to 560. That, that doesn't mean there's 560 lines. There's 56 lines right here. Remember, each line represents 10 right here. So remember, 8 times 7 is 56, and then carry the 0 is 560, all right? So 8 times 70 is 560. All right, let's do it with this one here, you guys. Okay, so I like doing this. So uh, we're going to do the, the 9 ones here times the 0 ones. 9 times 0 is 0, so we'll put that there. Multiply the 9 ones by the 0 ones. And then we'll do the 9 ones times these 8 tens. 9 ones times 8 tens is 72. So we get that. Now, if you can't remember what 8 times 9 is, you guys, what you can do is, since 8 is an even number, you can take half of 8, which is 4, and then multiply 9 times 4, which is 36. And then since you took half of that, you just double that 36, which is 72. So, so that, that, that's one way to get that. And, and if that was too big, if you forgot what 9 times 4 was, you can take half of that number. Just remember, you took half of it twice. 9 times 2 is 18, so if you double it, you get 36, and then double it again, you get 72. You just got to, you know, be uh, keep in mind uh, how many times you're taking half, so you can double it that, that many times. All right, let's try a different way here. So each car can carry 20 boxes, so we're going to use the number line to find out how many boxes six cars can carry. So basically, we're multiplying 20 times 6. So using this number line, I'm going to do jumps. I'm going to do a jump from here to here. There's 1 times 6. So we're going to, I'm sorry, 1 times 20. So we'll do it 6 times. So let's go ahead and do, uh, do 6 jumps of 20. Okay, so there's 6 jumps of 20 right here. So 0 plus 20, which is 20. 20 plus 20 is 40. 40 plus 20 is 60. Plus 20 is 80. Plus 20 is 100. Plus 20 is 120 right there. Okay, so... Uh, six cars will be able to carry 120 boxes. Now again, you guys, I'd like doing 6 times 2 is 12, and then just add that 0 right there, because it's 20 instead of 2, so it's going to be 12 with a 0, which is 120 right there, okay? All right, okay, so Bruce made this uh, multiplication model. Complete the equation that, that Bruce is trying to represent in this model right here. Okay, so it looks like these are block 10s right here. So I have four block 10s right there, which is 40. I have another um, uh, four of the block 10s, which is another 40. I have another uh, four of the block 10s right here. So it looks like he's trying to add three groups of 40. So when you're adding three groups of 40, it's going to be 3 times 40 right there, okay? And let's do the shortcut way. 3 times 4 is 12, so 12 with a 0 is 120. So Bruce is trying to get 120 right there. All right, almost done. Store has 30 boxes of plants. Each box, box holds four bags. Each bag holds two plants. Okay, so uh, what is the total number of plants in the store? Okay, so what we're doing is we're multiplying all these numbers. There's 30 boxes with uh, each box has four plant, uh, uh, four boxes in it. I'm sorry, four bags, and then each bag has two plants. So 30 times 4 times 2 is what we're looking for. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to multiply the 4 times 2 first, you guys. 4 times 2 is 8. And then we can just do uh, 8 times 3 is 24 with a 0. So it's going to be 240. Okay, so 8 times 23 is 240. So the store has 240 plants right there. All right, last problem. Tommy is collecting cans for a school drive. He makes uh, two plans to try and collect the most cans. Plan A is to collect 20 cans a day for 9 days. Or plan B is to collect 30 cans a day for 7 days. Which plan... Uh, we'll get him the most cans and explain. So what we're going to do is find out how many cans he'll get in nine days if he does 20 a piece. How many cans will he get in seven days if he does 30 cans a piece? So we're multiplying those two. So we're going to find uh, 20 times 9 and 30 times 9. Okay, so 9 times 2 is 18 with a 0, 180. 7 times 3 is 21 with a 0, so 210. Okay, so Tommy wants to get the most cans, so which one has the most cans? Plan B will get Tommy the most cans with 210 cans, okay? All right, you guys, take care, and good luck on your test.